Sometimes the number of meetings within a company can be very overwhelming and planning them can become super time consuming. Luckily, Outlook has a very useful feature called Bookings with Me. This feature will not only help you plan meetings more efficiently, but it will also greatly reduce the amount of back and forth emailing before planning a meeting. Bookings with Me allows you to pick time slots in which you will be available for meetings. This makes sure people can always plan a meeting with you at a convenient time. Let's look at how we can set this up. From the Outlook calendar view, we can see a button labeled Go to My Bookings page. When you click this button, you will be taken to the Bookings with Me page. Before we do anything on this page here, let's add a new booking slot. To do this, you can simply press the plus button at the top right of either your public or private booking window that you can find right here. Don't worry if you don't yet know if you want your booking to be public or private. You can always change this later in your booking settings. When you create a new booking slot, your first option is to give it a name. Something like quick marketing questions. So people know that this booking slot is for asking quick questions about marketing only. After that, you can give your booking slot a category so that your calendar items and emails for this booking slot will then get this category assigned to it. These are the same as your usual Outlook categories and can really help you organize your calendar and inbox. If you do not want to give your booking a category, you can always leave this blank or click clear all categories to remove any categories you may have already assigned. After that, you can give your booking slot a description. It is a good idea to make your description short and easy, so there's no confusion about what people are booking and meeting for. It's also a good idea to tell people what information you need from them before they enter this meeting. That way both you and the other party can come into the meeting well prepared. Now you can choose the location where your meeting will take place, like your own office, a meeting room or a cafe or restaurant. If the meetings will be online, you can leave this blank and enable the Microsoft Teams meeting switch on the right. Or you can insert both a physical location and enable the Teams meeting option to keep it as a reserve for when meeting physically suddenly becomes difficult. After you've set a location, you can choose how long each meeting should take. Let's set this up for 30 minutes. Underneath that, you got the option to make your booking public or private. Let's keep this one public. And now we've gotten to the best part of the Bookings with Me page. Here you can choose during which exact time slots people can book a meeting with you. By default, this is set to your regular meeting hours. Keep in mind that if you have never specified your meeting hours in Outlook, they might not line up with when you actually have time. Luckily, you can double check and change them by pressing this button here labeled See Regular Meeting Hours. Or, if you do not want to use your regular meeting hours, you can click on this drop-down menu and select Use Customized Availability Hours. Now you can create and edit time slots for each day of the week and even choose a specific period on your calendar during which this booking will be open. To choose a time period during which the booking is open, simply click this field right here and select the starting day of your booking by clicking on any date. You can switch to a different month by clicking these arrows here. And in the field right here, you can do the same thing but for the date in which your booking will end. After that, you can create and edit your time slots here. You can add a time slot by clicking on the plus button on the day where you want to create one. Now you can edit the start and end time of your time slot right here. If you made a mistake or simply want to remove a time slot, you can simply press the X button next to the time slot you want to remove. Now, let's take a look at some advanced options you can use to manage your time with bookings even better. To open the advanced options, simply click the button right here labeled Advanced Options. Here you can set a buffer time before and after each meeting so you can ensure you will not have to rush out of one meeting into another, or you can use this to give yourself travel time in between meetings. Or you can use it to give yourself a little rest, which is important too. You can also limit the start time of each meeting to different intervals. This means that if you set this to 30 minutes, people can only book meetings with you at, for instance, 11 p.m., 11.30 p.m., or 12 p.m. Whilst if you set this to 10 minutes, people can book meetings at 11 p.m., 11.10 p.m., 11.20 p.m., etc. This is also super useful if you want to be more in control over your own time. And then at last, we have the lead time in which people are allowed to plan meetings with you. By default, this is set to 1 hour, which means that if people want to have a meeting with you, they must book it 1 hour beforehand. The maximum lead time shows how far ahead people can plan meetings with you. 
By default, this is set to 90 days. After you've set everything up to your liking, you can press save in the top right corner of your screen. After that, you're sent back to your bookings with me page. Now that you've created your booking, let's take a look at how you can share this so people can start booking meetings with you. If you want to share your public bookings, you can press the share button right here and choose if you want to either send the link through email or copy the link and send it to someone in some other way. You also have the option to add the link to your email signature so anyone you send an email to will automatically see where they can book a meeting with you. If you only want to share a specific booking and not your whole page, you can press the triple dots button here on the booking you want to share. Now you have the option to copy the link to this specific booking, share your booking by email, delete or duplicate your booking or to make it private. Your private bookings can be found underneath your public bookings. These bookings each have a separate private link you can share with people and will only show for people who have that specific link. This is super useful if you would like to plan a specific meeting outside the time of your public bookings, for a longer time slot than your public bookings, or if you quickly want to plan out a meeting and want to give the other party more options for when you're available. You can share that link by clicking this menu and either copying the link or sharing it through email. You might also notice private bookings have an extra option called copy single use link. This will give you a link that as the name implies only works once. Once the meeting has been planned, the link becomes invalid and a new one would have to be generated. Lastly, to make your bookings page more personal, you can add a different banner. You can do that by clicking the triple dots button next to the share button and by clicking edit banner image. Now you can choose from several provided banner images to set as your own. Select one you like and click the cross at the top right of the window to exit out. And there you go. You now have a brand new banner. These are all the settings and functions you need to know to make full use of Outlook bookings. You can now use this tool to better manage your working time, making you a lot more efficient. Good luck!